stuff set today, and a couple things were playing out up front for tips. As you may remember from the merengue, when we're doing a Latin dance, of which cha-cha is one, we would like to stay on the balls of our feet, and there's a reason for that. That phrase, on your toes, not literally way up on your tippy toes, but more toward your toes, more on the balls of your feet where there's little to no weight in the heels. That will help us change directions better, more quickly, easier, um, without any stress on the knees, and just we're able to, to move more nimbly. And that is definitely something we want to do when we're dancing. It's great for balance to be able to change directions quickly without losing your balance. So remember that Latin rhythm, that Cuban hip motion is done by pressing the knees forward, rolling through the feet, mostly keeping the weight in the balls of your feet, pushing the knee forward, lifting the heel. So when we step, it's rolling down in the foot, mostly in the ball of the foot. My heart stays over my toes. I'm yearning forward, yearning toward my partner perhaps. So remember the knee press, which gives our hips lever, uh, leverage to sway and to go side to side. Also remember to keep the flavor of the dance. If you find yourself bouncing a lot and your head is moving up and down a lot, that's maybe more like a polka or a different dance. And it's okay if you are, but if you want that flavor, dig down into the ground with your feet, allow your knees to press forward. So mostly I'm not traveling up and down with my upper body. It's more of a forward and a down motion with knees, hips, okay? So a little more about flavor points. And again, strengthening those calves by putting more of the weight in the balls of your feet, okay? Let's show you up close what that looks like. So again, here we are sort of pressing the knees forward quietly and controlledly, letting the weight be more in the balls of the feet toward the balls of the feet. Okay, so when we're stepping, it looks like that.